You need to stop cursing your life with the things you say. So God has given me the message for you guys to stop cursing yourselves and with the things you say with your words. And I have literally been back and forth with God all week because he has really been putting it on my heart to share this message. He wants somebody to hear this message. And I was like, God, I don't know if anybody's even going to watch this. I don't know if anybody's even going to care. And he's like, well, are you going to continue to do what you want to do and do it your way? Or are you going to do it my way? Are you going to go on your own understanding? Or are you going to go on my understanding? So I'm going to be obedient and just say it the way God told me. And clearly he wants somebody to hear this. So I'm just going to put it out there. Do with it what you will but God wants you guys to stop cursing your lives. When you sit there and say that your kid has ADHD, that your kid has autism, that your kid has this or that, whatever it is, any kind of mental illness, when you say that you have any kind of mental illness, when you say that you're anxious or that you have anxiety or that you have depression, when you're putting labels over yourself and you're speaking those labels out loud, out loud, you are putting those curses over your life. When you're coming into agreements with that demon that's whispering in your ear and telling you, hey, you got this, you got this you this is what's wrong with you this is what's wrong with your kids this is what's wrong with your husband or the this marriage is never gonna last you'll never get this amount of money you'll never get a million views on this video whatever the curse is stop saying it there is power in our words there is power in the things that we speak and we are to speak life into ourselves and into our family and into everybody we are to only speak life we are not to speak these negative horrible things that we have continued to speak onto ourselves and I know it almost just comes natural but that's where you have to change. That's where God comes in and he is going to flip your life around. When you do give your life to Christ, he's going to flip things around and he's going to say, no more doing these things, no more doing certain things. And one of the main things that I did every single day almost was curse myself, curse my kids, curse my family, curse my husband, curse all kinds of stuff. I was just cursing, cursing, cursing. And I've had to sit here every single day for the 30 years that I've been sitting here cursing my life. I've had to sit here and break these chains, these generational chains that of, of things that I've come into agreements with, curses that I've put over my children. I've had to break those things and I've had to sit here and fight off things that I've let come into my life and, and oppress me and oppress my children and oppress my husband's life and oppress our marriage and whatever, you know, just all the things that I've cursed over myself, those things have oppressed me for so long. I had to let go of them. I had to break the chains. I had to bind those things up and I had to rebuke them in Jesus Christ's name. I literally just did it not too long ago. I said that I had, I'm not even going to say it. I don't even want to say it. I said that I had a mental illness that I may not have. I, I may, it doesn't matter. It's a curse. I put over myself by saying that. And even when I said that, I said it to my husband and he's like, no, no, you don't. And then not like I started thinking about it. I started praying about it and I started praying about the things that we say. And I th started praying and there was another lady on here that said something similar. And she's like, if you ever had said your kid has a, had a mental illness, make sure you rebuke that. And I didn't understand it. And I started praying about it. And God really, he honed in on that with me. And he's like, you have got to work on this. This is something you struggle with. Stop putting me in a box. Stop doubting me. Stop limiting what I can do and how I can do it. You have no idea. I can take a deaf and dumb child and make them speak. I can take a blind man and make him see. There is no limits when it comes to God. And we are supposed to rebuke those things, first of all, because they're demonic. And second of all, we are supposed to pray Jesus and speak Jesus over everything and claim it in Jesus' name. And if it's for us, God is going to give it to us in his time. And that's another thing. He's going to teach you patience through prayer, through giving things to him. Patience is such a huge part of obedience. It's a, such a huge part of um, having faith. It's one of the main things that God wants you to learn is patience. We all want instant gratification. This whole world is consumed by instant gratification and it's false. It's not real. It's not a secure sense of stability and happiness. It's just a, a void that's filled really quick. And then it, it, then you want to fill it again with something else, the next instant gratification that you can possibly get. That's why people swipe, 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 and don't even know what they're doing. It's a mindless thing. It's the way the devil has learned to control us with instant gratification. He knows that's what we like and what makes us happy. It's not real though. It's not real. So I just wanted to let you guys know, God wanted me to share this with you guys. I hope it reaches who it needs to reach. I love you guys and just stop cursing yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.